Teachers are responsible for educating their students, whether they work in a high school, a specialized school, or some other institution. But in anime, they are also huge perverts. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Animan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 anime where the main character is a cool teacher. Is there any harem elements present in this anime? Well, maybe a little bit. Is there any ecchi elements present in these anime? Hell yeah! Alright, before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon and set us all to be notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Why the hell are you here, teacher? High school student Ichiro's female teacher, Kojima Sensei, is famous for being a demon teacher. However, in front of Ichiro, she seems to be wait, 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 what? We are counting down anime with cool badass teachers. Not some hot busty anime teacher. Hmm, looks like that's my fault. Looks like I have watched too many, uh, etchy anime this week. Alright. Alright, let's get the list again. Number 10. Sky Wizards Academy. The story revolves around Kanata Age, a traitor as everyone calls him, who is assigned as the instructor of Team E601 to win the Sky Wizards Tournament in order for them to not be disbanded. What's the catch? The team is utterly useless, having suffered 10 losses in a row. With an incredibly shy girl Lekti, a self-taught goddess Riko, and a leader who can't really lead Misora, what is going to happen? Well, find out for yourself. Want to know my personal opinion about this anime? I didn't like it. I had to add this anime into this list because I couldn't find any other anime with a cool teacher. But hey, maybe you love it. If you go into this anime expecting to be absolutely blown away, then you may need to take a chill pill and lower your expectations. If you want a show that is easy enough to follow and enjoyable to watch, then it's not too bad. Number 9. I, My, Me. Strawberry Eggs. Oh, I forgot to mention that you will find some old anime in this list. Alright, let's get to the plot of this anime. Amawa Hibiki is a young man just out of college with an education to be an athletics teacher. He's been having a hard time finding a job since he graduated, so all his money has gone towards living expenses. When his landlady demands his first payment to live in her living establishment up front, he heads to the local middle school to get hired as a teacher. However, the principal refuses to hire him without hesitation. She will not hire men as teachers and make it clear that she hates all men saying they put no love into their passion and work. Amawa does not give up, and with the help of his landlady, he cross-dresses as a woman with a second thought, and gets hired so he can earn money and also prove the principal wrong. Now, he has to keep his real gender a secret, and avoid strange situations, including the affections of his student. Well, it is cool in his own way, and also it has a great story. Give this anime a try, and you will love it. <laughs> Number 8. Ultimate Otaku Teacher. Now this series was very, very interesting to watch. Kagami Junichiro was known as a physics genius when he was a teenager, even being published in Nature. However, after college, he suddenly lost all interest in science and became a neat. He devoted himself to his anime blog and collecting merchandise. As somewhat of an excuse, he claims to have a serious illness called YD, which stands for Yearn to Do, meaning that he can't do anything he doesn't want to do. Worried about her brother's future, his little sister manages to get him a job teaching physics at his old high school. He's not an enthusiastic teacher, but he becomes somewhat popular with the students. After helping a girl who's been bullied, Kagame finds that he actually likes teaching. Will he continue teaching? Will he go back to physics? Or will he return to being a neat? I'll cut straight to the point. He is way too much of a genius for a teacher. I mean, he could do anything using hacking with his laptop. ルールに支配された現実と未来は常にお前たちの敵だ。だから
欲しい未来があるなら戦え戦って現実を捻熟せろ Number seven, Negima. Negima introduces us to a 10 year old Negi Springfield who's been sent to an all girls school in Japan to work as a teacher. He's working to become a Magister Magi, or a special wizard who uses his own magical powers to help normal folks. While keeping his magical origins a secret, he interacts with the all girls class in a romantic comedy that's not unlike many of Akamatsu's works in the past. Only this time around, if Neji and the rest of the class want to find and restore the Star Crystal to its original owners, they must do a battle with the dark forces that are seeking it out for their own. The story is great and there's lots of comedy. The story's plot is good enough that I find it interesting. The action contained in this is pretty good, although it could have been better if the battles were much tougher. There's a little bit of drama in this anime that can move someone's feelings and emotions. One more thing this boy has a super sneeze. When he sneezes, every girl. Gets their clothes ripped off. I wish I had that kind of power. Number six Akashik Records of Bastard Magic Instructor. Akashik Records is an interesting anime in that it tries to tackle big themes in a way that can be understood by young people, while also being a fan service centric anime. Sistine Feeble and her best friend Rumia Tingle attend the Alzano Imperial Magic Academy, one of the most prestigious magic schools in the Alzano Empire. And they are eager to become top rate magicians, but that won't be easy as their new instructor is none other than that lazy, bumbling Glenn Radars. He'd rather sleep than teach. Seems to have no magical abilities and drives Sistine crazy with his lackadaisical attitude. But as dark forces converge on the school, this proclaimed bastard teacher reveals his true clout as a magician. Long story short, if you like the magic school genre, this is a piece of cake. It's entertaining and I had fun watching it, but don't make the same mistake as me. Don't raise your expectations because the anime starts off pretty well, but it becomes somewhat predictable afterwards. <laughs> なんで錬金術ってのは気が入る必要が。あ。ちょっと。ああ、待て。俺は常日頃こんなお約束展開について物申したいことがある。たかが女の裸をちらっと一目見るのと暴かれるのが等価交換だなんて割に合わねえだろ
and it proves to be a difficult adjustment for them to make. I know this doesn't look like a cool teacher anime, but hey, we came here to watch some good anime. So go for this anime. You won't be disappointed. Number 3. Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei Nozomi Itoshiki is a high school teacher so pessimistic that even the smallest of misfortunes can send him into a pit of raging despair. Some of these catastrophes even lead to suicide attempts. Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei is a satirical slice of life anime set in the modern day covering various aspects of Japanese life and culture through Nozomu and his interactions with his students and several other unusual girls all of whom are just as eccentric as their teacher. Overall, this is one of those satire comedies that are made with the hardcore anime fans in mind. With so many hilarious jokes churned out, us viewers are bound to find something funny with the rest going straight over our heads. Even though this show gains a merit for being pretty unique, it does end up losing a bit of its uphill later on, but you will definitely enjoy this one. Number 2. Great Teacher Onizuka. In short, GTO. Now that's an anime with a badass teacher. This anime is pretty old, but I love this anime. Great teacher Onizuka, and what a great teacher he is. A really original and good anime filled with comedy. And of course, action, but also a few serious moments. This is an animation that has given life to one of the most memorable characters I've seen, Onizuka Aichi. The story of GTO concerns Onizuka, a reformed biker gang leader that strives to be a great teacher and meets chicks. The story of the teacher that reforms delinquents has been done countless times, but the story of GTO feels fresh. GTO is one of the funniest and most touching anime I've ever seen. Onizuka is one of my favorite anime characters. He may be a pervert, but he has a big heart. It shows us in every episode as he shows his students how to enjoy school again, even though they are all trying to bring him down. We get to know a lot about the students in his class. Over the course of the anime, the reason why you should watch this is simple. Onizuka Akichi, 22 years, a virgin. This anime is all about character. Truly, GTO is ineffable in that sense. Watch the first episode and tell me if you're not immediately enamored by Onizuka and his ridiculous ways. Number 1. Assassination Classroom Well, let me be the first to say that this show surprised me in several ways. The cover image of the show may look like a tentacle monster, but don't let that steer you out of the way from watching it. The show is much different than what it seems. The amount of character development that occurs throughout this is phenomenal. This show will keep you at the edge of your seat. Okay, now for the plot. Kill the space alien octopus within the span of one year or it will destroy the planet Earth. A group of middle school losers whom were trained by the antagonist itself to kill him, their mission is to kill him within one school year, and if they are successful, they will get 10 billion yen, which is roughly about 100 million dollars. Well, the plot was really unique, and quite frankly, I kinda like the idea behind it. Assassination Classroom is considered to be one of the best animes in Japan, because we see how Kororo-sensei makes Class 3E the worst student to the best students. We always had our times in the series laughing, feeling, and enjoying ourselves. Watching a new plan to assassinate Koro-sensei's assassination classroom will be an anime that will always make you happy and sad. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments which anime is the number one for you. And also, comment what video you want us to do next. I read every comment, so don't forget to share this video and make sure to subscribe. See you in the next one.